The 2015-2016 Warriors are a direct result of what happens when you insult young champions. Now, that is a line that is not uh, synonymous with teams that have won titles because usually it takes experience. Um, you don't have championship teams that are this young, this youthful. I mean, for the exception of Andre Iguodala, everyone on that team um, has yet to enter their prime, which is why they were so disrespected. People thought that uh, it was a fluke that they, they beat the Cavaliers. Um, so when you get a championship team like this, normally I would think that they would be, they would be partying. They would be expressing their youth after winning a championship and they'd come back the next season without this edge. But when you've disrespected a group of players that were good enough to win an NBA title, that were improving, that were going to get better the year after you've, you've put more of a fire under them. Now they have to defend the championship they had already won. It's almost like they really weren't even champions to begin with. Like they had to validate that. Like they had to prove it over again. So now you have a team that's hellbent on destroying every team they play. They want you to make you look stupid forever doubting them. And then you've got like Stephen Curry, who not only was just a phenomenal shooter to begin with, he's practiced so much in the offseason that he's eliminated any weakness really in his game. I mean, he is he is just, if you watch him, the people that doubt the Golden State Warriors are people that I can tell don't watch them on a game in game out basis because this guy isn't defendable. You just, you can't guard him like that. If you try to press him at the at the line, he finds the open man, he split double teams, he has a higher field goal percentage than LeBron James, Dwight Howard, DeMarcus Cousins. Like he's he's shooting better from inside the paint than big men and prominent big men at that. And when you first saw the Golden State Warriors in the finals last year, you saw in games one through three that they were tentative. They were nervous. They were young. You saw it got to them. And then they win a title. By the way, Andre Iguodala winning MVP was perfect because he was obviously very upset with going to the bench. But then you show your significance in guarding LeBron James. Then they give you finals MVP. It was just such a validation for his efforts and his self-sacrifice that it, it also brought the team to another level. But... When you see this team get back to the regular season after being champions and winning in the finals, they look around and they're like, this is child's play. I mean, we played in the finals. We, we're champions. You want to you wanna throw this at us? You want to throw the regular season at us? They're, they're toying with opponents. They blow them out. This was the worst thing you could have ever done for uh, the rest of the league is piss off and disrespect these young group of champions that are only going to get better. I mean... They don't have to really worry about injury concerns compared to other teams because they don't have the mileage. This team is only play; they've only played with each other. They're going to continue to play with each other. I mean, yeah, Harrison Barnes might walk as a free agent in the offseason, but I'm saying the core group of this team have only played with each other and we're only going to continue playing with each other, are only going to individually get better. I mean, the league has done it to themselves. You've you pissed off a team that's more talented, that has adapted to the new style of basketball in today's modern NBA better than any other team. They are built, and this is where championship dynasty basketball teams, this is the real difference, is that they are built specifically for the era of basketball that they play in. So if you were to take an 80s Celtics team or an early 90s Lakers team and you put them in today's NBA, they would not be as successful as they were. Just as if you took this Golden State Warriors team and were to put them back in the 80s and the 90s, they would not be as successful. It is perfectly adapt for the way the game is judged and ruled today. And they're doing a phenomenal job. You, you see them every single post game. They want to win. They, there is no contempt in this team whatsoever. And this is what happens when you piss off young, talented players and give them a reason to perform even better than they did last year. I mean, these guys know they can be great. They can be historic, and they're proving it. They already are historic, and it's only feeding their fire. But that's just my opinion. I want to know what you guys think. This is Apple Adult Fix Sports, and I'll see you guys later.